Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to use umpire process to solve this problem, sum of digits. So the problem statement is given a three digit number, find the sum of its digits without using string operations. I'm gonna copy over this problem statement into my code editor. So I'm going to do my under umpire process in there. In my case, it's PyCharm and I'm going to paste the problem statement. I do that because I have something to look at it without switching over to windows, between windows, okay? So let's analyze this problem, okay? First, let's identify what's given to us. It's usually the input, what data are we supposed to work on? which is usually given as input. So input equals three number, okay? And next, let's find out what's being asked. What are we supposed to return, which is actually output. And that equals sum of digits. Now it's good to figure out whether there's any restrictions. In this case, yes, we have restrictions and it's basically without using string operations, a restriction. So restriction that equals can't use strings, okay? So let's work on an example. So we are given 483 and we're supposed to return 15, which is sum of the digits. Okay. So suppose return 15. Okay. All right. So, so let's analyze how do we get that 15 out of 483. Okay. So it's basically 4 plus 8 plus three, sum of each digit, right? Four, eight, three. So we sum them up and we get 15. So then basically we need to extract each of this digit. How do we do that? We learn that process throughout this and previous modules, okay? So let's follow that process to identify and basically extract each digit, okay? So I'm gonna start off with the left most digit and work towards right, okay? So how do we get extract number four out of 483, okay? So if we take 483 and if we integer divide by 100, and that's four, basically, number four, digit four sitting at the 100 position. So we need to take the integer division by 100, all right? And to sum, we need to extract the middle digit, which is eight. And it's a little bit tricky always. It's a two-step process. First, we need to extract the part of the number that is starting with the digits. In this case, 83. I need to first extract 83. Okay, so then I can extract number eight out of 83. So first for 83, and I need to get the remainder division by 100, that is 83, okay. And then I need to apply integer division by 10 to get the eight, okay. And the last digit, which is the ones position, that is three. So simply get the 483 and the mod operation by 10, that gives me three, okay? And this is equals to 15, okay? All right, so let's find out whether there's matching problems. We already solved tens digit. Any 
problems that use remainder and mod are also examples of matching problems. Okay. All right, so let's convert this understand into a plan or algorithm. So my first step is I need to obtain the input number. So input number, okay, <clears throat> excuse me. And my second step is I need to extract. So I'm gonna go from left to right. So I'm gonna extract number digit four, okay, so number and then extract extract third digit okay so third step is to extracting sec second digit so extract second digit and Fourth step is to extract first digit. Now I have to basically sum them up, okay? Sum all digits, okay? And then lastly, I need to print the sum, okay? So this is my algorithm, this is my English code. So now I need to translate this into Python code, and which is basically the, the implementation. So let's convert this algorithm into code, okay? So first step is the input. So in, so number equals input, okay? So I need to input my number. So I have the number. Now I need to basically get the sum. Okay, I can do all these steps in a single statement. So I'm gonna get sum of digit digits. Okay. I use I like to use expressive names. Okay, so always go for expressive names. So anyone can read and understand your code easily. Okay. So sum of digits it's equals. So I'm gonna convert this formula, this algorithm into this line, basically. I have the number, the hundreds digit, then get the tens digit, okay? So, and then get the ones digit, okay? All right, so now I have the sum, I need to print this to the output, okay? So that's our implementation. So let's review, part, part of the review is running and debugging. So uh, let's run, okay? All right, it's expecting an input over here. So 483, oh no, it didn't run. Okay, so that's fine. No worries, we need to now analyze. So it's oh, debugging is part of the review process. Let's see what it returns, what's the error message. So it's saying type error, always go for this error message. Let's read it carefully. It's saying unsupported operand types for this operator, okay? And it says some str, okay? So, so let's see what this is about. And notice I forgot, when we input using Python, the, re, the type of that input going to be string, okay? So we can actually check that out real quick. Print type and number, okay? So let's run it again, All right? 483 and it printed string. So that's why I got this error. So this number that we input, it's not actually a integer, it's actually a string. And we know that we cannot 
operate math on text. So that's why Python returned that error. So let's correct that. So we need to convert this to an integer. So you can use int built in function. All right. Let's try now running game. Okay. For 83, I got 15. So I got the answer. So let's try one more example in the table. It's 999. I'm expecting 27. So I got that answer too. So it seems like our code is running. So let's submit our solution over here. So I'm going to paste this over here and code check. All right, we pass all the tests. So there you go, following the umpire process to solve some of the digits.